Well, we've just finished the uh, the qualification process for the flotation system for the uh, uh, for the 169, and for us, this has been a uh, a series of uh, of programmes that we've been doing for uh, Augusta Westland, and it's been an interesting process because as we've been able to do them uh, more or less together in sequence, uh, we've been able to introduce quite a high degree of commonality both into the design of the system itself and into the qualification uh, uh, process. A flotation device is, is something that's put onto really any helicopter now that is operating over uh, water. Uh, and the whole point of it is to keep the helicopter afloat in the event that the helicopter has an inadvertent ditching on, uh, uh, on water. And it's quite critical because the helicopter doesn't float. Uh, not only that, but it's got the weight of above and the buoyancy below. So as the helicopter lands on the water, it starts sinking and it immediately starts to turn over and invert. And it makes the escape from the helicopter uh, difficult, if not impossible. So flotation systems have become more and more uh, uh, applied onto helicopters as a safety uh, uh, measure. The system is really very simple. It's just some large uh, bags uh, filled with gas. Uh, normally they're packed down into a very small space. The gas is contained in a, uh, a, a bottle. When you get the ditching, the gas is released and up go the, uh, uh, up go the floats. And really the criticality is to get the floats up and stable as quickly as possible because the faster you do that, the quicker you stabilise the, um, uh, the helicopter. Um, if you're too slow, the helicopter's gone past its point of vanishing stability and it turns over anyway and now you've got it floating upside down. So the speed of operation is critical as indeed is the reliability because these things must work when, they, uh, uh, when they're needed.